ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another city adventure. Last week we went to Munich, which is not too far away from Stuttgart in the uh, grand scheme of things. And so this week, instead of going east, we'll be going up north to the uh, to the city of Köln, or a clone for you English speakers. Now I do believe Köln is just a a bit further away from Stuttgart than uh, than Munich, but. It's not really a part of the country I've, I've gotten to see it all yet, so I'm, I'm quite excited. So, uh, uh, here we go. All right, well, if you want to talk about the right way to make a first impression, as soon as you get out of the train station. Ooh. I mean, it's literally, it's right there. That is, wow. Absolutely gorgeous shame it's being restored but I mean not a shame it's being restored but a shame there's no construction stuff going on you know what I mean just so many fine details and it's for the entirety of the building absolutely mesmerizing That is just exquisite. Really. Nice looking shopping street here. Ooh, including a shoe store that might have to might have to check that out then. A lot of candy places on this street, which is really weird. That's uh not usual. Right, well, aside from a pretty nice uh, shopping street and a very nice cathedral, I'm uh, looking into seeing what else Cologne has to offer. So, um, I think I, I saw a couple of museums around here that I, I might be interested in visiting. And atop that list is this, the uh, Cologne Chocolate Museum. Because, you know, of course I would want to go to a chocolate museum located uh, along, well this is just a small section of it, but along the mighty Rhine River, which I've, uh, I've gotten to drive over, but I haven't actually, you know, gotten to see, uh, up close until, until now, so that's cool. Also across the way they have a mustard museum that I passed. Interesting, interesting. Uh, this is a little more my speed, I think, though. Nothing, nothing against mustard, but, you know, come on, it's a chocolate museum. Ah, so that's where the lint part comes in because they actually make lint chocolate in this museum. It's pretty, pretty nifty. I know my mom is watching this right now and just seething with jealousy. Chocolate is exquisite, by the way. Right, well, that's a pretty, pretty neat museum. Definitely, uh, definitely worth my time, I think. Uh, nice, nice view over the Rhine River as well. Very cool. I think a good way to uh, to complement it would be with a food review. So these are the samples that they gave us on the uh, on the way in. So first up, we've got cookies and cream uh, by Lint Chocolate. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, yep, a little bit of a like actual like cookie crumbles on the inside a little crunchy definitely creamy is it focusing well it doesn't look like it is I can't tell but it's good I mean obviously it's chocolate it's you know it's it's, it's chocolate next up this is a little more interesting uh, strawberry cheesecake um, yeah I have I have 
no idea what this is gonna be like, but I like cheesecake, so here we go. Oh yeah, oh, creamy again. Got a little bit of strawberry in there. Again, it doesn't want to focus, but yeah, all right. I think I like the cookies and cream better just because it's a more like traditional chocolate bar, but you know, pretty solid, pretty solid. Maybe not the best background we got. Some uh, some empty beer bottles there, but you know, what are you gonna do? Nice. Now people always ask me how I figure out where to go for my, no. People, people don't ask me that, but since I haven't really shared with you guys yet, I figured I might as well. This might be a good vlog for, you know, vlog for that sort of thing. Usually when I select a new uh, town or location to go to, uh, first thing I do is, is look up on, you know, Google Maps, what are the, the top attractions for that place, you know, uh, museums and uh, other architecture, major, major sites like that. And those are usually the big places that I want to check out and photograph and film. The other thing I do to uh, fill in the gaps, or more or less, is uh, I go on Google Maps and uh, I look at the parts of the city that are uh, that are colored yellow. There are usually like big sections of a city that are blocked off in yellow on Google Maps, uh, like this. And usually those are the sections that are really busy, which means there's usually stuff to see in like shops and and uh, you know just just cool places to look around. So uh, that's usually what I do if I can't think of anything else to do, is I, I seek out those parts of the city, which is kind of what I'm doing now. And uh, usually when I do come across a cool part of the city, like this, I, uh, I whip out my phone and start filming it, and I say something along the lines of, uh, oh, this is nice. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the checklist. Go through it a few times until six or seven hours have passed, and uh, yeah then head on back back home that's kind of the plan for this trip too but in general i'd say uh from what i've seen so far uh cologne seems to be a lot less tourist oriented than uh than you know at least munich definitely munich um definitely more tourist friendly than you know something like like augsburg obviously the bigger the city the more touristy you'll get there's definitely enough history and you know a few museums to keep you entertain for a day or so maybe even more depending on how many museums and how how deep you want to explore this is I, I don't know what this is but it's cool so yeah that's uh my my analysis of, of my quick analysis of of cologne at least uh yeah three four hours in one uh lap of the city later and we are back here i noticed you can actually go up to the top of the uh top of the tower so uh i got time might as well could be fun and we're climbing still climbing <sighs> this is a tall tower Well, this is neat. Not, not a bad stop. <sighs> Still climbing. But, I was starting to doubt whether this was a good idea, but I do get to see some of the finer details of the architecture up here. Just as detailed up here as it was at the ground, so. Pretty sick. That was 10 minutes of just straight climbing stairs. But it does look nice. I don't think I'd survive the Eiffel Tower though. Um, actually maybe a bit glad I skipped out on that. <sighs> 1875, all right. Gorgeous view. Yeah, quite pretty. Now to go back down. I 
All right. Well, uh, I will be hard pressed to, to go up to the top of the tower again. There were the, the first section of stairs that you had to go down were so narrow. Um, well, they, they were not made for people who have been gifted with, uh, with big feet. So, but I was absolutely blown away by the rest of the cathedral, just how intricate and, and magnificent the 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 rest of it is it's all so detailed and it's just both outside and inside it's absolutely gorgeous i I'd, I'd say it's probably one of the most beautiful buildings i've ever seen ever had the, the pleasure of experiencing so yeah absolutely must must visit if you're you're gonna be in Köln. well unfortunately with that it is now about time to uh to head on back to the train station. I, I've run out of time for today, quite quite unfortunately, but you know, overall, solid city. Definitely not a super tourism oriented city, but between the, uh, the cathedral, the shopping street right here, and uh, the chocolate museum, you know, there's enough to do. I'd say it's worth a visit if you're, uh, if you're in the area. So, yeah, not the best tourist city, but you know, I still, I still prefer Munich, I think. But overall, I have really enjoyed it. Really good place to visit. And I, I don't think it'd be the worst place to, to live. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know much about Carl. So, anyways. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. It's always appreciated. And until next time, as always, have a good one.